All right, happy Monday, everybody. I'm back. It's your boy Bo Dunn coming off a much needed vacation. I got four top plays for y'all today. It is Monday, April the 25th, 2022. Let's get to it, man. It's bad win that pickup. Bo Dunn Sports, where you spend a little and win a lot. Bet, win, and pick up. And that's where the big bucks start rolling in. All right, what's up, everybody? I'm glad to be back. It is Monday, April 25th, 2022. And for today's video, like I said, I got four top plays, two in the NBA and two in the MOB. Now, remember, make sure to drop that like, subscribe to the channel, and share the videos. Also, drop me a comment and let me get y'all best plays for today. And I'm back to the live videos with Johnny, BP311, and T-Mac. The link is on top of the comments. I think right now we're going live at 1 p.m. Central, 2 on the East, and 11 on the West. So you'll want to join us today. I'll be back. The link is on top of the comments. Also, if y'all want to get my extra picks that I put out throughout the day that includes all my player props, all you got to do is follow my social media links that are down below in the description area. All right, man, coming off a great vacation, had a lot of fun, really needed that. Now I'm refocused, revamped, and ready to get back to this cash. So once again, make sure to like, share, subscribe, drop the comment down below. First pick, we got the Brooklyn Nets minus one over the Boston Celtics. Over and under said 220. This game come on at 7 p.m. Central. And uh, yeah, man, Brooklyn is one game away from elimination. Boston is up 3-0 in the series. Now, in that last game, I think what uh, is happening, man, Brooklyn is just committing too many turnovers. Uh, as far as the shooting percentages, they both was like a 50% shoot from the field. Uh, Three-point percentage about around about the same. Uh, and free throw percentage about the same. Only thing I've seen a big advantage was Brooklyn Nets just turned the ball over too many times. And that's something I think they can correct for today. And I think they will. So I'm going to take Brooklyn, just like we've seen Denver last night, avoid elimination. I think that Brooklyn will do the same thing today and extend this series for one more game or two. So give me the Brooklyn Nets in a desperation spot, minus that one over Boston for a unit, which is 40 bucks. Second pick of the day, going to, going to Dallas, down to my area, man. Got the Mavericks minus three over the Utah Jazz. Over and under set at 213. Now, if y'all watched that game, uh, the last game they played, the final score was 100 to 99. And with a minute left, Dallas just kind of gave the game away. They was up 99-98, and it was at the free throw line. They missed both free throws which gave Utah this chance to go up by two off those free throw uh, misses. So um, I think the Dallas will be motivated off their loss to get this win tonight. Also back at home where they do their best work. And uh, Utah has really been uh, struggling on the offensive side. They're only averaging nine, uh, three points per game. And they pretty much figured out how to uh take Rudy Gobert out the game. So I think uh, tonight, man, Dallas at home with Luka Dungeons back in the lineup, I think they get the job done and go up 3-2 in this series. So I'm going to lay the three and take the Mavericks for the second pick of the day. All right, man, baseball plays first pick. We're looking at Astros versus the Rangers. Uh, we got Astros minus 135, over and under set of eight runs. We got former Valdez going for Houston, and we got Dane Dunning going for the Rangers. Now, in this game, we're going to be looking at the over eight runs between these two teams. Now, in the last uh, five meetings between Texas and Houston, the over is 5-0. and oh. In the last three meetings in Texas uh, Stadium, the over is 3-0. and oh. Now, both the pitchers have allowed 17 walks combined between the two. Dunning's ERA is approaching six. Now, I do think that Hershey will win this game, but I'm just going to focus on the total because Hershey is coming off a big win, uh comeback win over Toronto last night, and they on the travel on the next day. 
So I think the lineups got the advantage. And quietly, Texas Rangers has been putting up a lot of runs this season. Right now, they got 71 runs. That's the only one under the top uh, scores. And so I think Texas will be able to play four runs. I like Houston to be able to put up at least five. So I also got an angle in this game. Uh, it's Houston as a role favorite, and they put up eight runs in their last game. In the last two years, the over is 9-2 and two in that last 11. So give me those Houston Astros and Texas Rangers over eight runs for a unit at minus 115. Final pick of the day, we're going to Arizona where we got the Diamondbacks going up against them Dodgers. The Dodgers right now are minus 172 favorites over an under set at eight and a half. Now we got Walker Buehler going for the Dodgers, and we have uh, Merrill Kelly going for the Diamondbacks. Now, uh, Walker Buehler has not been looking like his normal self, but I think tonight he got a great uh, matchup against the Diamondbacks. Diamondbacks are the worst hitting teams in MOB right now. Their lineup is only averaging um, 177. So I think with Walker Buehler be able to manage this lineup and limit the runs, and on the other side, we got Merrill Kelly, and he's pitched 15.3 innings this season. He's only allowed one earned run with 18 strikeouts in those innings. Now, I think that he'll be able to navigate through that Dodgers lineup for the first five innings. And I'm going to take the under four and a half in the first five of this game between the Dodgers and Arizona at minus 115. The reason why I'm taking the first five is Instead of the full game, because Arizona Diamondback bullpen is ranked toward the bottom. So I think that towards the end, you um, know, later in, I think the Dodgers will uh, place and run. So we're going to focus on the first five under four and a half and minus 115. I mean, recapping these plays, giving the Brooklyn Nets minus one, give me Dallas minus three. And NBA, MLB, I like the over eight between Houston and the Texas Rangers. Final play of the day, give me the under four and a half runs in the first five innings between the Dodgers and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Like I said, man, if y'all want to see the results from all the plays I done put in on the vacation, you can check it out on top of the comments. And if you want to join that live, the link to Johnny's Hunt Win YouTube channel is on top of the comment section as well. Remember to drop that like, sub to the channel, share the videos, and then your boy will comment down below and give me y'all top plays for today. Feels good to be back. Wanna shout out to all my people. What's up with you, Rivera? What's going on, Johnny Hunt Wins? What's up with you, Ron Hunt? What's going on, BB311? What's up with the T Mac? What's going on with the Terry? What's going on, Gloria K? What's up, Jenny Flowers? What's going on with your PP Square Productions? What's happening in Trap House? What's going on with your Sports Dave? What's going on with you, Bobby Taylor? What's up, Junior Jam? And what's going on with Dwayne Doc Simmons? All right, man, if I left anybody out, y'all yeah, know it's all love, man. As always, remember to be smart, be with your mind, not your heart, man. It's that bankroll. Let's continue to turn these tickets into cash. It's your boy, Bo, the One Man Show, a.k.a. The Blind Cowboy, representing BC Nation, checking in for Bo, the Wins. As always, winners don't quit. They just keep grinding. Spare win pick up. I'll see y'all in a few.